Islam gave women their due rights 1400 years ago. Previously, during the Ayyamul Jahiliya, in the days of ignorance in Arabia, female infanticide was prevalent. When a female child was born, they used to bury her alive. Alhamdulillah. Thumma alhamdulillah. After the revelation of the glorious Quran, this evil practice has been stopped in the Arab lands. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Nahl, chapter number 16, verse number 58 and 59, وَإِذَا بُشِّرَ أَحَدُهُمْ بِالْأُنْثَى ظَلَّ وَجْهُ مُسْوَدَّ وَهُوَ كَظِيمٌ يَتَوَارَى مِنَ الْقَوْمِ مِنْ سُوءِ مَا بُشِّرَ بِهِ أَيُمْسِكُهُ عَلَى هُونٍ أَمْ يَدُسُّهُ فِي التُّرَابِ أَلَا سَاءَ مَا يَحْكُمُونَ And when news is brought to them about a female infant child, his face darkens and he is filled with inner grief. Should he hide it from the people? Or should he bury it into the dust? Ah, what an evil they decide upon. The glorious Quran not only prohibits the killing of female infant children, it even rebukes the thought of a person becoming sad on the news of a female infant child. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 157, those who follow the unlettered prophet whom they would find mentioned, in their scriptures, in the law and in the gospel, commanding them to do that what is good and prohibiting them from doing that what is evil. 